Hello everyone, my name is Manjit Singh and I am a legal intern at Lexus and Company. I am a third year LLB student of Lloyd Law College. Today I will be discussing about the topic Elder Abuse. Now first let us see the introduction of the Elder Abuse. An individual life consists of various stages like infancy, childhood, puberty, adultery, middle age and old age. In the early age of our lives, we all are busy exploring the beautiful colors of youth, learning new things and are more inclined towards self-development. Then the, we enter the stage of adulthood where we start the plan our lives whether it to be our jobs, marriage, children, needs of our family and so on. The list is endless. It is that state of our lives where we can sit back peacefully and look at our life journey, our accomplishments, our ups and downs and feel contented. The instant of ignorance of older people and their needs by their children are increasing and it doesn't stop there as in many cases. It also results in elder abuse. People at this age need and it doesn't stop here as in many cases it also results in elder abuse people at this age need to be supported in every possible ways whether emotionally physically financially mentally the sad part is that some people in today world fails to understand such fundamentals of humanity now what this scenario of elder abuse in india India has always been a land of values, as we all know, and respect for its elders. But the grim realities of today's world are divergent. The self-centered attitude of kids and gradual shift towards the Western culture has weakened the grip of the culture, values, and ethics. Almost the new generation, they exploit their parents emotionally, mentally, to force them to get their property and other valuables in the favor of their children. Uh, what does it really mean? Elder abuse? Uh, what does it really mean? Uh, the term abuse appears to be very simple, but it is very complex term with a broad meaning. It is. It has various types like uh, physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, financial abuse, and negligence. Elder, elder physical abuse is the international uh, international use of force against uh, an elderly person leading to physical harm f from physical pain to death psychological and emotional abuse are intentional act that is influence the mental pain fear of distress on on and elders neglig neglect happens when the person responsible for the fear care fails to protect and um, elder from harm or meet an elder's need these were the types of the elder abuse now we'll see about the why we need law against elder abuse the global share of elder the global share of older people of age uh, 60 and above has increased from 9.2% in 1992 to 11.7% in 2020 and it can be estimated that by 2050 it will be increased up to 21% with with each day passing, India is becoming old with 8.3% of its population and 60 aged above 60 or above. There is a need to change the way we address the problems of elderly where it is physically, emotionally, mentally, financially. More than one-fifth of the elders have experienced elder, experienced elders abuse in India and around 7 out of 20 have been its victim daily. The most common types of the abuse elder faces are negligent, disrespect, verbal abuse, ignorance, name calling and physical abuse like uh, beating and slapping. It is quite horrifying that daughters in law and son are the major culprit behind this abuse. And now after going through all these facts, we can conclude that some of the changes are necessary for society including increased awareness amongst older people regarding their rights and what relief they can get under different law. Also, the lawmakers need to widen their perspective regarding the world 
needs as they only give importance to economic needs of survival and sometimes fall short of interpreting the social needs of of belongingness retaining authority and a position of importance in the family uh, this was all about the elder abuse thank you please like subscribe and comment on my channel as well as on my video do comment your questions on the comment box if you have any question with regards to my this video with regards to my previous video uh, feel free to comment uh, lastly this video doesn't solicit any kinds of promotion as per the guidelines issued by the bar council of india and the sole purpose of this video is for the educational purpose only thank you